this video, we're going to talk you through everything you need to know and do to get your new interface up and running with your computer, be that PC or Mac. Before you connect your new interface to your computer, you're going to need to download the Antelope Launcher software. Navigate to antelopeaudio.com and click on Support in the top right portion of the screen. Then click Download Launcher. The Windows installation looks like this. And the Mac OS installation looks like this. Now open the launcher and log in. If you don't have an Antelope Audio user account yet, you can create one here. Just follow the step-by-step on-screen prompts. Now let's connect the device to your computer. Depending on the model, this will either be by USB or via Thunderbolt. If you're using a Thunderbolt connected device, you're going to first need to install the Thunderbolt driver for your OS. To do this, click on the System tab and install the Unified Driver for Mac OS or the Thunderbolt driver for Windows. Just a quick note, Mac OS will require you to allow the driver in your security and privacy settings. Go to the Mac System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and in the General tab, allow the Antelope Audio software. Also, if you're running one of the new Apple Silicon Macs, be that M1 or later, you will need to go to Recovery Mode and make sure the Antelope Audio system extensions are not blocked. We have a dedicated video on this, so check out the link in the description below. Your Thunderbolt interface will now show up in the Devices tab. As long as you're logged into your Antelope Audio account, you will now be able to activate your device. Click the red Activate button, and you can also go ahead and enable additional features to assign any effects licenses on your account to your interface. Either way, now click Continue to complete the activation process. The next dialog will confirm the successful activation and give you the option to install the required software. This includes the device's control panel application and its firmware. For Windows users, this will include the USB driver as well. Once the process is complete, your device will restart and be ready for use. Now launch your DAW and get creative. For a full walkthrough of the launcher's functionality, check out the video link in the description below.